Hi everybody, Jan Helius here and welcome to my new European Universalist 4 tutorial. Today we are going to play as Portugal and we're going to focus on colonizing a navy and colonizing Brazil and Africa and all that good stuff. Maybe some naval combat and transporting your troops. Um, Portugal is the best choice for that because uh, they are locked from the Europe by Castile. And yeah, you will be friendly with Castile because Castile is your uh, historical friends and you share the religion, so it's all good. Um, and the rest stuff we I think we've covered in the Moscovy video because we touched some trade, uh, fighting, I mean inland trade, vassal systems, and so and so on. So, what's your starting location as, I mean not location, but position as Portugal? A feudal monarchy, nothing unusual. King is 4 to 1. Not really much better than any republic leader. And your know, air uh, is sucks as well. It's 3 to 2, not so good. Not not the worst one, but not so great. Diplomacy, uh, we are allied with England. And we have an. Uh, Morocco hates us because we have land in Morocco. Ceuta, or whatever, however it's pronounced. And we have truce with Granada. About the Granada, Castile will reconquista them. And um, if you try to take some land from there in the early game, uh, they will most likely hate you. So just don't. Economy strong, uh, making 4.3, which is good enough. It will provide the money for advisors. Most of the money comes from trade, 9.75. Oh, that's a huge Pac Man right there. And trade goes to Seville, so it doesn't have any outgoing trade routes, so it's like final destination, so to say, which is really good. Really pay off to co uh, control the trade in there, but it's problematic because, you know, Spain. I mean, Castilla at the start. Um, what else? Um, technology, usual ideas. We could go to ideas, mostly focusing on trade and colonization, as you can imagine. Right. The missions. What's unique? You can form Spanish nation military if that's your thing, but uh, yeah, you can form Spain as Portugal. Nothing wrong with that. If that's your uh, choice. Uh, Instituto de Societa CSU is uh, unique for the Portugal. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Uh, you need admin tech 10 and you'll get uh, missionary strength plus. 1% and PayPal influence. So you still have Catholic as Portugal, basically. Because why the hell not? Um, and what else? We don't have any vassals. We do have a lot of explorers. I will talk about it in a second. Alright, so let's start with the casual stuff. Uh, Foreign alliance with Spain. Provides us 25 diplomatic power. Sure. I'll take that. Uh, alliance. Q. To rivals, uh, Morocco hates us already, so Morocco. And do I need more? I do need more. Uh, Castile, no way. Clemken, sure. And that's enough. I can leave the spot for France or Aragon if we have to fight them someday. Uh, because I, I'm not sure if I'm going for Africa. You can go for Africa. Um, and the best way to do that is very fast as a separate nation. Because they have a couple of claims. So you make them your vassals and your vassal and you sell the rest of the stuff in Africa. That's the best way to do this because uh, it's a uh, Moroccan tradition, barbarian traditions are increased by 100 coin costs, which is really a pain to deal with. So. There's that. Uh, what else do we have here? Advisors. Uh, plus one is enough. Oops. And he's the best. Well, not true. scientist is very good, but he costs too much. So treasure. Um, here. Um, we don't really need that, but we will need Diplo, so I'll take Diplomat. And here, I'm the organizer. Great. And we're focusing on Diplo, which is good because um, 
we'll need that for exploration. So, how is that? We do start with uh, some heavy ships, which some people would uh, disband. I will not. What I'll do is split those barks because they are the fastest ship, and you want to explore with barks. How do you explore, you may ask? Well, Portugal starts with three explorers, which is really good. Um, Nuno Triazzo, Diogo Gomez, Alvaro Fernandez. But as you can see, I cannot uh, recruit them because that requires the quest for the new world, National Lia. Which I will show you where it is. It is um, here. Exploration, quest for the new world, a lot of recruitment of explorers and conquistadors. So, Portugal is unique in that respect because you start with explorers before everybody else. So you got a chance to, you know, discover all of this stuff before anyone else could, which is good for your prestige and possibly for early colonizing. That's why I'm not going to disband my guys. I'm just going to assign them into... Oh, come on. There it is. Into the bags. One is enough. We don't need to send plenty of ships to colonize. Right, so the rest of the fleet will... I will join them soon. So, how you do this? You send this guy, like here. And you cannot click the further way. Oh, you can? Is it a bug? What? Well, well, I'm... It's kind of new to me. Never been possible. Can I go to Brazil? Is it because it's the start of the game? Well, anyhow, I send those guys. No problem there. And because we have uh, four of one military leaders, I'll get minus three military power. But that's that's all right. I'm going to use my military a lot, and I can also. Put it to lowest I maintenance because I'm not going to fight any battles anytime soon. Alright, that will be it. Uh, what I should I do with the other guy? Mm, nothing for now. That's alright. In the time pass. Castile accepted alliance. Great. And now they want to earn marriage as a quest, which I will do. Join those ships and send them to. Protect trade in Sevilla, which will increase my presence there. So I'll make even more money. I'm making now 9.75, and we'll see at the end of the month how much I will make. So, we'll manage. Maybe I'll improve with uh, Aragon. Although it, they can fight with Castile, so I'm not. I'll just improve for now. We'll see. Right, it's end of December, and how much I'm making in beginning of this event? <laughs> Five point twenty-two. I don't know why. Maybe because it was the start of the game. It should increase my trade presence in Seville, or maybe Spain sent the fleet and so on. I don't know what's going on. Anyhow, and as your ships will go to the unexplored terrain, it will explore it, but I noticed that it's uh, incognito. I don't know how w which island it is, so I'll have to go back and forth in there, but uh, I'm not going to focus on that. Fish will be producing the Azores, because we started with two islands, which is really also helpful with colonizing. Because uh, to colonize, you will have something like colonial ranch, which will those two islands increase, because they are considered your land, so it's closer to Africa and to Brazil or Americas. Oh, Morocco wants to fight. Um, and I want a dual marriage. I don't know why, why I didn't send the proposition I was talking. Well, that's right. We got the cardinal. That's right. Dual marriage. Still great. Another 25. 
power and now achieve religious identity. We cannot do that because that's another Muslim. We convey our controller, I don't want to focus about that. Expand the buffer zone in Africa. Owns gap, have coin gap. Which is this one? Uh, we could. They don't have any allies. We do have army with general, which is decent general. We are added to Castile, which most likely will help us. So I'm gonna cancel this. Fabricate another claim. That's Fezzer's capital, right? I'll take Melilla, maybe. Mechans, make it my uh, oh, okay, now has a claim here. How cute, right? And uh, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do the African conquest because most people will tell you oh, just don't bother with it. I mean, why not? Why not if you can take this land which goes to Sevilla trade not? Why wouldn't you do that? It's like counterproductive to me, right? So, we are going to. Fabricate on Melilla. There it is. We'll get a free claim out of that, expand the buffer zone, and we'll go. Right, are you guys exploring? You're exploring or you're just standing there? Can I go here now? Oh, I can! I'm not sure if it's a bug. I'm not sure if it was possible before. Or maybe I just dumped them. And as they are on the open sea, they will lose monthly attrition because of base value, time at sea, two months, five percent for open sea and minus two because of the leader manual. Uh, so yeah, you have to be careful not to lose your ships. And since we are going to fight Morocco, I'm going to, well, I can recruit more guys. What do I have in here? Um, three calf. I can afford one more calf, and the rest of infantry. You know, I I'll use max. They will cost me, but uh, it's money well spent. And if I were to attack Morocco, will you help me, Senor Spain? Oh, we have your Gansi Gansi? What? Are you for real? Oh yeah, he's 13. He's 13. Oh, that, well, that's, <laughs> I didn't remember that. Good to know. Right, you can export this, that maybe, and then go back to, you know, heal up, repair. Mm, go there. That's all right. And you are going this way. Oh, you are so low. You know what? Go, go to repair as well. And where's the other guy? You have to keep an eye on that. So you guys will not die. You don't want to lose them. Like for free. Uh, so there's that. Okay, I'm going to increase just a little bit so they could move. Okay. Just fire them to Morocco. For now, I'll improve with Castile. So, because I want to make sure that they will join. And my king is 30, as I said. Right. I didn't know that. But that's all, that's all right. So maybe I recruited those mercenaries too early, but eh, what we can do. So there is a lesson. Don't do it so early. <laughs> oh, we found some tribes, which is okay. You're resting. That's good. Uh, okay, you're coming back. You see, he's on 54. If I waited like one more month for something, he could easily die, which is... Not really what you want. So 
Oh, and then it has solo morale that it cannot move. Oh, come on. Oh, there's too many of them. Okay. Maybe I could use another uh, cock. Right, let's let's talk ship. Let's talk ship. So you have heavies, which is the best ship. Uh, it costs half a ducat per month to maintenance. Most expensive one. Uh, that's the best one. This one is how much trade power it will provide for you. Um, that's basically it. The last one is how fast they remove. So the cocks, which are the transports. The first is heavy ship. The next one is light ship, which is mostly for protecting trade. It can fight as well. It have uh, eight hull instead of twenty. 10 fire instead of 40, but it's very fast, that's why I'm exploring with them. Galley is good for the inland seas, uh, it has increased value of like fighting when it's on the inland sea. I mean, not inland sea, well, kind of like Mediterranean, the Black Sea, the Baltic. But if you are fighting in the ocean, they're kind of useless. However, if you're fighting for Mediterranean, they're good because they're cheap, uh, cheap to produce and maintenance is. 0.03 balls from the half of the ducat. Barks will pay for themselves because they protect the trade, increasing their profits, and cocks are mostly for uh, moving your troops around. So that's good. How many of the ships I have? I would like to have one more cock. So I have 10, which will help with transferring those, and then moving my stuff to Africa and back. Alright, as that that should be uh, good enough for now. So um, the first part of the exploring game is really boring because that's exploration, exploration, and again exploration. The clicking shift is really helpful. Because uh, it will allow you to you know. Plan your exploring units without any problems. Alright, um, 50 admin for that, which is, sounds like a really good quest, doesn't it? Alright, waiting for this guy to heal up and we send him to Africa. There, he, there it is. So, again. Will you reach Cape? Also, it takes more time to go into unexplored province because you know you don't exactly know where you're going. So there's that, and it's the same for the inland guys. But you need an army to explore the inland, and also you need the conquistador, which comes with the same national decision. So there it is. Right, we've explored a little bit of this side now. It's not really that useful, but um, you know. And uh, now let's maybe focus on Brazil. Brazilian coast. And yeah, that should do. And then come back. Alright, so we're going. What is this? Oh, and I forgot to move my fleet again. It's just all right. We're not going bankrupt or anything. Right, you go to Patro Sevilla. Our L is still thirteen. Now we'll be fighting, right? No. Conquest Castles Belly against Morocco. Well. That will give me gap, so I'll make uh, 10 girls now. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this all. Doesn't have to have, have a claim. Oh, and also, I will embargo you first. And then I'll embargo the, those guys, because they can mess with Seville as well. Which I don't really like. Issue embargo, yes, please. 
Automass Annex Albania. Go figure. Right. You gain. I have to fight Bermudas if that's the correct name. Not sure. Because British likes to go there first, and that will slow the expansion towards North America. Uh, which is really good. Anyways, let's fabricate claim on gas. And that should be for this episode, for the first one. I'll continue this until we start colonizing. And then maybe I'll be continue it because I have, I'm missing some of the achievement that you can get as trading or colonial nation. So, um, yeah, let me know and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.